ਰੈਂਟਲਸ ਅਤੇ ਮਕਾਨ ਮਾਲਕਾਂ ਲਈ ਪੀਸੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਆ ਨੂੰ ਬਿਹਤਰ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਲਈ ਰੈਂਟਲ ਹਾਊਸਿੰਗ ਟਾਸਕ ਫੋਰਸ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਸਿਫਾਰਸ਼ਾਂ ਜਾਰੀ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਗਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਰੈਂਟਲ ਹਾਊਸਿੰਗ ਟਾਸਕ ਫੋਰਸ ਆਰ ਐਚ ਟੀ ਐਫ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਵੇਸ਼ਨਾਂ ਅਤੇ ਘੱਟ ਆਮਦਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਲਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ ਵਿਆਪੀ ਰਿਨ ਬੈਂਕ ਪ੍ਰਣਾਲੀ ਨੂੰ ਖਤਮ ਕਰਨਾ 23 ਸਫਾਰਸ਼ਾਂ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਹੈ ਆਰ ਐਚ ਟੀ ਐਫ ਨੂੰ ਪੀਸੀ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਜੌਨ ਹੋਰਗਨ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਅਪ੍ਰੈਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਰੇ ਸੂਬੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਰਾਏਦਾਰਾਂ ਅਤੇ ਜ਼ਿੰਮੇਵਾਰਾਂ ਲਈ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਆ ਤੇ ਨਿਰਪਰਤਾ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਧਾਰਨ ਅਤੇ ਸਲਾਹ ਦੇਣ ਲਈ ਨਿਯੁਕਤ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਵਿਕਟੋਰੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੱਜ ਰੈਂਟਲ ਹਾਊਸਿੰਗ ਟਾਸਕ ਫੋਰਸ ਦੀ ਘੋਸ਼ਣਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ I want to acknowledge we're on the traditional territories of the Lekwungen speaking peoples uh, the Songhees and Esquimalt and I want to thank them for having us here on their territories Uh, my name is Spencer Chandra Herbert. I'm the MLA for Vancouver West End and proud chair of the Rental Housing Task Force. I want to thank you for being here today. I also want to especially thank Minister Selina Robinson for entrusting myself, MLA Adam Olson, and MLA Ronna Ray Leonard with this important work. It's important work to update our rental housing legislation so that it actually works in the 21st century. It hadn't been updated for far too long. This report is a result of months and months of meetings, consultations, phone calls, emails, uh, web visits, uh, checking out what's going on around the world, uh, trying to figure out what works best with our residential tenancy system here in BC and what needed to be fixed. We had the opportunity to learn a lot and have a lot of really good discussions. I think the 23 recommendations that we'll be presenting are balanced and they'll make life better for renters and for landlords. If implemented, they will give renters more protection from rent evictions, while giving landlords the security to invest in their homes and ensure the rent gets paid. We've recommended significant changes to strengthen enforcement of, of the law, to strengthen penalties for those who break the law, and also real improvements to ensure the law is fair for everybody. Landlords deserve to be paid on time and have their property respected. and tenants deserve to know that their home is safe and that they're safe to live in it for the long term stronger enforcement of the rules is good for everybody now i mentioned there are 23 recommendations there are too many for me to go into detail on every single one of them but i do want to highlight 3 for too long people have been forced out of their home due to rent evictions a process where a landlord targets a renter for eviction claiming they need to do major renovations and then often deliver minor renovations where the tenant could have actually maintained their tenancy and stayed in their own home. We propose a ban on renovations. If renters are willing to accommodate renovations in their homes, they should be allowed to stay in their homes. Too many landlords and renters have faced challenges because of people preying on them, cheating them out of their rent, damaging the suites, forcing them out of their homes illegally and there've only in the history of this province been two serious financial penalties to those that break the rules only twice in our history have we had major penalties against those that con people relentlessly that has to change we propose strengthening enforcement of the law and strengthening penalties for those who break the law good landlords and renters need to know that we have their backs Finally after consideration we are recommending that we maintain the current system of tying the rent to the renter and not the unit. We believe that landlords need to invest in their property and need to be able to invest in their property for the long term. We need more rental housing and it needs to be competitive to provide more rental housing. It maintains that competitive environment while also of course with our further recommendations providing further protections for renters from illegal or unfair evictions. It's a balanced approach. We've worked hard to meet the needs of landlords and renters so that we can have a fair rental housing situation for everyone in this province, which we haven't had for far too long. At the end of the day, good laws, good policies only work if they are actually followed. We know most landlords, most renters do follow the laws, do know their rights and do know their responsibilities. However, there have been a few who knowingly break the rules again and again and again and we don't think that's good for anybody the law needs to be respected and we're making strong recommendations to ensure that people have security in their home and landlords are secure to rent out their homes